I have continued to be impressed with films coming out of the Korean film industry. It's really quite amazing if you look back over the past few years. I think about 2016's Train to Busan and in 2017, Battleship Island and A Taxi Driver. And then of course, Parasite. All of these films have shown up as my best of list for those years. And I tell you, as I'm approaching the year end here, I think there may be another Korean film worth talking about. Beast Clawing at Straws is a witty, witty mystery. It's a crime noir thriller that uh, is brought to us from first time director and also screenwriter uh, Kim Young Hoon. This is really a brilliant South Korean flick that offers these twists and turns and magnificent storytelling that I found to be reminiscent of Coen Brothers meets early Guy Ritchie and Tarantino. The characters, let me tell you about the characters, a very diverse, diverse cast of characters that includes a creepy crime boss, a brothel owner, a crooked customs inspector, an abused woman, an amateur hitman who hears ghosts. Yeah, he hears ghosts. And a man in a dead end job that's caring for a mother with dementia. All of those are connected by a duffel bag filled with money, secrets, greed, deceit, and even more. And really, that is just the start of Beast Clawing at Straws. This is based on a 2011 Japanese novel of the same name. Uh, the score is absolutely incredible. The cinematography, the production and sound design, and the acting, they all round out a perfectly engaging slice of cinema. Beast Clawing at Straws earns an A rating on this quick take. So before I leave you, I gotta tell you, there's a lesson I learned from this. And the lesson is the next time I find a duffel bag filled with money inside of a locker, I may just leave it for the next person. Until next time, I'm Noel T. Manning II for a quick take, and that's a wrap.